Welcome back, everybody. Well, heart disease is the leading cause of death in the U.S. And we've got Dr. Greg Connor here from Austin Radi Radiological Association to give us some info, um, unfortunately, about this deadly disease, but about ways that we could possibly track it and keep it um, under tabs early to keep yourselves from that, uh, that, uh, that chance of, of, of it going downhill. So, Dr. Greg Connor, I really appreciate you being with us this morning. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me, Jordan. I'm so it's glad. Sitting on the patio, it's a nice day. Yes. Um, so, Dr. Connor, we're talking about uh, the presence of coronary artery disease and how you can detect it. And this is something that is pretty new because you don't have to actually go under the knife. Well, that's correct. And um, the first thing that any patient should do is uh, see their physician, their health care right. provider, and their health care provider will conduct a, uh, a thorough medical history and look for risk factors for coronary artery disease. And what would those risk factors be? So what they'd be looking for is obviously a family history okay. of uh, heart attacks in your immediate family. Um, they'll also be looking for certain uh, lifestyle factors, whether or not uh, you smoke, um, what your diet consists of, um, and how much exercise that you get. They'll also uh, run some simple tests and screen for uh, blood pr high blood pressure, as well as um, the possibility of diabetes right. and uh, high blood cholesterol levels. Walk me through what it's like for the patient, right? Going through from beginning, middle to end about this whole process. What's it like for them? So for patients who may have some of these risk factors, so right. we, we certainly want to find patients that are at somewhat increased risk for um, heart disease before they've had any symptoms. So they, they would be totally unaware other than possibly knowing that they have a family history mm -hmm. or knowing that they have some of these risk factors. And if they meet some of these risk factors, not all, they may benefit from an additional test called a, a CT calcium scoring. And undergoing that procedure may help your doctor further decide how aggressive to be with uh, therapies to, pre to prevent heart disease right, from developing. Right, so this is obviously very important. Um, we have a graphical image to help describe the whole process Give me a rundown of, of what you're looking at when you're dissecting these. Sure, so uh, the image that uh, you'd have on, on the right-hand side of your screen should show a totally normal um, heart and uh, a picture of the, the vessels that pr provide blood to the heart. On the left-hand image of your screen, you'll see some bright white areas. I think they're marked with arrows. Right. And those show what we're looking for with this type of scan. We're looking for deposits of calcium in those blood vessels that uh, provide blood to the heart. Now these, um, these scans, you talk about the patient, what, what the process is, you talk about what you're looking for, where can we go to get this, and when you talk about financials too, does insurance help pay for that? Sure. Uh, for, for one thing, I just wanted to emphasize that the, the uh, scan itself is very quick mm -hmm. and it's easy and painless. There's no injections involved, there's no IVs, there's nothing that you need to, um, to swallow. You just lie on a CT scan table, and it's a very quick, maybe less than 10 minute procedure. Great. Um, we have uh, 17 imaging centers around Central Texas, so hopefully one very close to uh, your, list, your, your viewers. And um, it's a, a very low cost uh, procedure. It's only $75 to right. have this procedure. Done. Yeah, I think we got some information on the screen. We'll put it up for you guys. That, that's $75 with the doctor's note, I believe. What's that? Is it with the doctor's note? The yes, they dollar. do need an order from your doctor okay. to have this exam. All right, that makes it easy. And, of course, we can put some information on the screen right now about how to get in touch with the Austin Radi Radiological Association. Dr. Connor, I really want to say thank you for being here. Definitely taught me some stuff, and uh, the fact that it's non-invasive is huge. Right. Thank you very much really for having me. really appreciate it.